Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So we have the Porsche 911 Turbo 3.6 to 964. This is late in the 2023 season of releases. It's the fifth of the tuned cars that they did in 2023. And I think they did a good job with really all of their tuned cars. So I really hope they continue this trend. It seems like they will, maybe? If you like tuned cars, you know, leave comments on all channels because uh, I'm gonna guess they don't know how many people buy these things. But uh, they keep making them, so I'm not sure. All right, so here's some pictures of a real one. And let's see what kind of deformation is going on. But I'm liking it so far is all the printing on the front of this, because I don't want to paint that stuff. I can never paint it as nice as a, a tampo print would. The wheels are a pretty good choice. You know, you got the five spoke wheels here. You got twin exhaust like that photo as well. And you got printing in the back, and that's the only really goofy looking 964 I could find. All the other ones actually look more realistic than this uh, toy we're looking at today. I'm going to start here with this paint. It is like a metallic. I thought it would just be a black paint, but it's really cool that they went with a dark charcoal metallic. It's not black. I just assumed it was black in all these uh, preview photos I've seen, but it's really nice. Uh, I like it. It's kind of kind of hot roddy though. It's <laughs> maybe this would look cool in a full size Porsche, but uh, if you look if you're looking for the realistic paint jobs, th this is not one of them. I mean, this is a cartoon car, so maybe it won't affect most collectors that are into these. All right, so we went over the wheels, so not much to talk about there. But the door handle here is sticking out, so that seems pretty good. The window actually has a raised uh, molding there. Here it's raised as well, so that's nice. It's not painted or anything like that, but it's a mainline Hot Wheels, so you can't expect that. Where the paint is more important is up here, right? So you have 964 Turbo, nicely done. Uh, the turn signals and the running lights there seem pretty nice. And then the headlights are nice as well. So, and wow, cool, there's actually a Porsche crest. Let's get in on that, look at this. That's an impressive Porsche crest. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, this is a mainline Hot Wheels, and it's got all that craziness in a real Porsche crest, so maybe it's a little bit big, but again, for it's a cartoon, so uh, I don't really mind. Uh, okay, well, let's go on. we got some bumps, it looks like. Maybe those are wiper fluid bumps, or maybe the stocks of the turn, the uh, wiper blades, because they're not on the windscreen. The windscreen is this uh, windscreen is this smoked plastic. You don't really want to touch it. That stuff scratches really easily, whatever plastic they use. You can see some stubby mirrors built in, so I think that's nice that they got those in there. This side, yeah, the door cuts seem okay for Hot Wheels. Nothing majorly wrong. The base is this silver, silvery plastic, and that becomes the exhaust tip, so I think that's pretty smart. You can easily add some black Sharpie right in there to help the realism there. This license plate's even better than the front one, it looks like. Very nice. So then you have Porsche there, printed there. It's a different red than the taillights. So double printing back there. And then it says Turbo 3.6. Wow, this is really cool. I like it a lot. We have the venting up here. It's pretty faint. It might be hard to get paint in there because they're quite shallow, the grooves. I'm not even going to bother because the thing's already pretty dark anyways. But in the future, you know, they're going to come out with other colorways. Most likely silver, right? So the uh, interior, you can actually see some rear seats back there. I don't know what those are, maybe sp stereo speakers. It looks like there's a support structure there. So this is interesting. This doesn't have like that big obnoxious post in there for keep kids from stepping on it and hurting themselves. I think they're literally using... Wait a second. No, I thought this was a wall, but no, it's that... that uh... Rubber, well, it's supposed to be the window break or the door break. So actually, I'm not sure how they're getting around this. You know, this is clip look totally hollow in here. But I like it. I don't want to see a giant metal post there. And so it seems to be a trend that they always have uh, one side open with the open and the other side closed. Uh, it's interesting. I guess it's fine. Unless you see the interior a little bit better, but eh. I think I'm gonna need a flashlight. All right, we got a little hot dog sti stick shift there. Some ribbing on the seats looks looks pretty good. The door panel, very tiny, minor, like armrest detail there. 
The steering wheel is a pizza pan with the horizontal thing. And the dashboard looks like there's two little bumps maybe, or hmm, might be a molding error. And I'm fine again with it. I'm really lax on my reviews for basically anything that's not as supposed to look realistic, which is more than half my videos. So, okay, cat ear, sorry. Very nice. All right, so as usual at the bottom, it should probably tell you what it is, which it does. It tells you roughly when it was made, which or copyrighted at least, which it does. And then where it's made, if that's important to you, so I like it. Unfortunately, it's pressed fit together. And if you know my videos, I like to do these 3D printed jobs. And I knew I was going to get this thing. So I'm going to uh, just clip this thing off here. Show you how I go about reusing axles. But I might actually just end up not using the axles at all and just use putty. So these are just cheap, like $5 clippers. You, know, you can buy them online. Harbor Freight wherever uh, street market and I'm just basically trying to clip up to the axle because I'm basically trying to make enough room to then get different clippers in here so I can actually clip the steel axle end off and because these clippers are pretty cheap I don't even care if I dull it so far I haven't really done that though okay so that's one side you only need to do it on one side Be careful, I have actually clipped the body on one of my Blings cars, not paying attention. I was probably watching TV doing it. Okay, so let's get in there. Alright. So that should... That's enough clearance. Then I have these things, these Knipex or Nipex, I'm not sure. The model is this, 7612125, and it has no problems cutting through uh, a 0.7 millimeter steel axle. So I try to preserve as much of the axle as possible. Close your eyes or wear safety glasses. Hold the other end or the other thing's just gonna go shooting out the other side. In fact, why don't I try that? See, that's what's... You might lose the axle in a carpet or something. All right, so now we're gonna lose this. And uh, I just kind of guessed that the tires were gonna be the same size as the other tuned cars they came out with this year. So mine are slightly bigger and the wheels are a separate piece. I have a disc brake back in there, but it's part of the wheel. So, but the, the stock car has silver wheels anyway, so there's no, there's no brake caliper, just the rotor itself. So you could just use poster putty and mount them, but I know you guys are all into these rolling models, or I guess rolling toys, since we're talking about Hot Wheels. All right, so that's all the clipping, main clipping. Now I take one end here, and I shim it into this uh, wheel. I have a 3D printer, so it's got these ugly support structures. But uh, if you buy these off Shapeways, yeah, it won't have, so it'll be a lot nicer. I need crazy glue. Okay, dab some crazy glue. Let that sit. Where's the other one? I almost never design treads in my tires because you never really see them on the, from the side view of a car. Only if they were like truck tires, I would do you know treads. So I'm trying to feed this back in. Yeah. So the reason why I do the tire is it fills in the wheel well, and the stock the stock tire is definitely smaller and a little more gappy. So what I'm trying to do right now is try to figure out the axle length, and that's way too much. I generally try to clip off right where the axle is, would end somewhere around where the fender cuts into the body. And that's usually around the amount of hollowness I have in my wheels. It's just coincidence. I don't do that on purpose, but that seems to be the trend now that I've done several dozen of these uh, Hot Wheels 
Wheel mods. Let's do a test fit. Yeah, that one's gonna need to be clipped off a little more. This one, yeah, a tiny fraction more. That's fine. Actually, you know what? I think I have to shave down my wheels a little bit. When you have a resin printer, what happens is the model stretches because uh, there's all these support structures. So here are five support structures supporting the disc brake rotor, but there are a bunch of uh, supports. You can see one, two, three, four. And so when this thing is printing, the suction is stretching out the model. So again, I don't think that would happen if you were to actually buy them from Shapeways because they use a different type of printer that, that doesn't use support structures. They use like wax supports. Uh, they're far more expensive printers at Shapeways. But my printer's cheap. It's a Frozen Sonic Mini 4K, if you, you want to know. They have 8K printers now, so you don't want to buy the 4K. This one's actually uh, glued to the axle, and I don't care about these clippers. I'm literally just going to clip some plastic off while it's on the axle. Okay, do the same over here. Hopefully that's enough to get under. Let's see if that gets it under the fender. Yeah. Well, that's a little bit. It's pretty flush with the fender. I guess I'm anally attentive. I kind of want it to be a little bit more recessed. Maybe that's, that's what did it. Yeah, alright, so that's cool. Might have to clip off more of the axle again. Yep. You can see this uh, high detail resin I use. It's pretty brittle. It's not a high strength resin. It's just high detail resin. Alright, I've collapsed that hole in. So I gotta open this hole up again. And so I have a little hand drill. This one's a display one. This display one's pretty good, you know. It should be because it's quite expensive compared to just a generic one which functions basically the same. Let's clean that out. So that that's it. If you want if it's a rolling one that is. Again I, I kind of feel putty would just be faster. In fact, why don't, why don't I just show you that as well. Because with putty, yeah, 
You can have steering and camber. Right, maybe I'll just show you one side because I don't want to break the glue off this axle right now. So I use something called the Uhu Potifix Pro, Pro Power, and it's a gray putty, so you don't see as much you know, from underneath. But from the side, actually, any any putty will work. See, so. You can have a much more cartoony, dynamic uh, stance. You know, with the with the camber being extreme, like that, and then obviously a steering wheel. So that's why I do most of my churro cues this way. So we'll start off with some realistic looking ones. So we have this uh, Kyosho, no, a TLV of the very first 911 from 1966. And I rag on this brand because look at this. I don't store my TLVs or really most of my models in boxes unless they're those big clear ones. Look at the paint rash it's developing. So I bought this, you know, when it first came out, opened it up, and it's been sitting in a big display case. And yet it still gets paint rash. That's why this brand... You really probably don't want to buy this brand if you expect your stuff to last. Maybe one day I'll make a 164 scale car shredder and I'll just start throwing a bunch of my bad models into them. This is probably older. This is a, yeah, this is definitely older. It's a Kyosho. This is a 911 SC, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a 934. I think it's a 934 if it's from 78 to 83. The 964 I think came afterwards. Anyways. No paint rash, which is odd because the red ones are really susceptible to paint rash on Kyosho's. And the last brand is a Mini Champs. This is a 934 Turbo, I believe. Yeah, from 1976. So I don't actually have a 964 this realistic looking. So you can obviously see uh, the liberties that were taken in the deformation by Mattel in making this cartoon diversion. So let's get into the cartoony ones. Choro cues mostly. This is a 944 Turbo. No, it's a 924 Turbo. It just says type though. And then these are Hot Wheels wheels. They painted silver and the real riders and all that stuff. Here's an old Porsche 906, is it? Yeah, 906. This toy is from like 1985. Pretty neat. Let's try the tires, and I, agree. I like the text they have molded into the, the tires itself. The actual toy itself is quite crude looking, but I mean it's from 1985. Just as crude looking as a Porsche 956 with some sort of Omron's printing on it. I guess that might, be, might have been a sponsor. This again says 1980 to 85. I guess maybe that's maybe it's newer. Maybe that's just what the copyright was. Okay, now we have a 996. This is from 2001. This toy. It's got the jelly bean headlights. And the last one is a different brand, Cart or C A Art, and it seems to be a, also a 996 with the jelly bean kidney kidney headlights so that's all I'm aware of as far as castings that are by pullback motor toy companies mostly Choro Q is the king because they've been around for decades uh, this brand just came and went uh, they don't make anything they only made like six or six castings I think even less maybe you have to look it up in my, my uh, playlist all right, so for some reason, yeah, Choro Q doesn't really pursue Porsche anymore. They make Ferraris, they make Lamborghinis, 
But for some reason, they don't make Porsches in deformed shape. So I'm really glad then that Mattel decided to pick it up and can, you know, let Porsche files have goofy looking versions of their cars. I don't know what this is. I mean, I know it's Darth Vader. I think it might, it's supposed to maybe go on the back of a pencil, but it doesn't, it's really soft and rubbery. I just don't know if it's an eraser. It's got a certain stickiness to it. But it's so goofy looking, I had to get it. It's a little bit big though, but it is a cartoon again. All right, well, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll see some really cool new tuned cars coming out in 2024. I have no clue what they're working on. Uh, one channel that I, I like to watch is uh, The Daily Dose. Uh, you know, he does a lot, he likes tuned cars as well, but he always gives people a heads up on what's coming down the pipeline as far as new, new toys and models and around 164 go. So, check that out, he's in my subscriptions. Alright guys, I'll see you around. Take care, bye, ciao.